Hello, I'm Sydney and welcome back to my Flock and Squawk. Today is my birthday and so what better way to celebrate than by getting to use what I got for my birthday, which is all about bread. So I got this America's Test Kitchen book on bread and so we are just going to start off with the most basic sandwich loaf. It is Easy Sandwich Bread on page 59 of America's Test Kitchen Bread Illustrated. So let's just get right down into it. First off, we will need two cups, which is 11 ounces of bread flour, six tablespoons, which is two ounces of whole wheat flour, two and a quarter teaspoons instant or rapid rise yeast, one and a quarter cups plus two tablespoons, which is 11 ounces of warm water, warm being 120 degrees, three tablespoons of unsalted butter that has been melted, one tablespoon of honey, and three-fourths teaspoon salt. And then they also have a large egg with a tablespoon of water beaten into it for the topping to make it a, a nice crust. So let's just get right into it. So now in my mixing bowl, I have my two types of flour and my yeast, and I'm going to mix this up with the paddle just slightly to get these incorporated, and then we will be working with our liquid ingredients. So I have my liquid mixture ready for our batter or our dough and so I'm going to slowly pour this in while it is mixing with the paddle attachment and then after it is all incorporated it will mix for about four minutes or so to get it fully ready and then we will continue the process. All 
right, it's been about four minutes and this is what our dough is looking like. We're just going to cover it with plastic wrap and let it hang out for about 20 minutes. And then we'll be forming it into our loaf pan. And our dough has been proofing. I just tidied up a little around here. And so it is time to transfer it into our loaf pan. So it just says to dump it in the loaf pan essentially and smooth out the top. So I got it transferred over into my loaf pan and lightly covered with plastic wrap. So this is just going to hang out for another 15-20 minutes for it to rise, then I'll uncover it, let it rise a little bit longer, then we brush it on the top with the egg mixture, which is just the egg, water, a touch of salt, and then it goes in the oven. So I've already got my oven started to preheat because mine takes quite a while to get to temperature. So, But if yours does not take so long, then I wouldn't worry about it yet. So I'm going to set this in a warmer spot, let it rise. So my loaf has risen, it is slightly above the lip of the pan, which is what they say. They actually say level with, but slightly above I think will be alright. And while I was waiting, I got together the egg mixture, as I showed you for the topping, so I'm going to brush that on and we'll toss it in the oven and see how it does. The, the instructions say that their preferred pan size is about 8 by 4 and mine is 9 by 5 and so they just say to bake it for about 5 minutes less. So that's what we're going to do. So this is my bread fresh out of the oven. It's cooled just a touch. I'm gonna let it cool some more before I pop it out of its pan. And then it's supposed to cool about three hours or completely until, and then you can cut it. So I'm going to let it hang out and then I'll try it at the very end of this video once it's all cooled. And if you've been following me on, following me on Instagram, you've seen that I've been doing the Bon Mon May little jam advent calendar and so if you'd like to see that and where I'm getting all these little jams that I'll probably be using on this bread and how it toasts up you can check out that on Instagram so taste test after it cools And here's what my finished bread looks like out of the pan. It's beautiful, it has sat and it has cooled for a few hours. So let's slice into it and try it. And here it is, it has such beautiful structure. The crust is not hard, but solid, but when you go to cut into it, it is like super soft and just light, delicate bread. 
So let's give it a go. It's the perfect like sandwich loaf as it says. It's soft and chewy, but, and not like overly sweet or overly just a yeasty. It's like the perfect base bread. So if you'd like to see me toast it up and have it on t as toast, check out my Instagram for day number 24 of our advent calendar, which has already been posted by the time this is. So yeah, I quite enjoy this recipe. It was very easy and didn't take too long. So if you'd like to join me next week, I post every Saturday here on YouTube and periodically over on my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.